que sa courses il y a citron ou de morceau et du chocolat blanc délicieux. Yeah, that can't be right. Someone has to help me with all these French C's. Having trouble with pronunciation. Hard to say vowels or tough articulation. We'll make you into a loquacious talker. Get on the phone with the pronunciation doctor. Hi, I'm your French pronunciation doctor and I'm the cure for all your pronunciation woes. How can I help you today? Well, the main thing I think that I'm struggling with today, the French letter C is very confusing. I understand, but I can help you. French C is not so complicated, okay? There are some rules you have to know and then it's just a matter of practice. So, can we start with the soft pronunciation? All right. And that, okay. what does that sound like? Uh, so the French C is pronounced when it comes before the vowel E and I and Y. Okay. So you have to pronounce it S. Do you know any words in French with a C pronounced softly? Uh, la France. Yes, very good. Très bien. Bravo. <laughs> Um, uh, that one's probably a little easy though. <laughs> and then there's, uh, so there'd be delicio. Yeah, of, almost. The C is perfect, but after it's delicieux. Delicieux. Delicieux, yes. No sure. sure yeah. <laughs> and then I think a good third one could be um, I un bicyclette. Très bien. Bravo. <laughs> Une and then that has the other C in there to throw you off yes so you can guess it's the the second pronunciation it's the hard pronunciation and mm -hmm. you have to pronounce it k. okay so k is the way you pronounce the c in front of the vowels a o and u and of course in front of a consonant okay can you try uh, to read these examples Right. Uh, first, we've got uh, le canapé. Very good. That's a food thing, right? Ah, it, yes, it's also a food. <laughs> but it's the, the sofa. <laughs> the, the sofa. Oh, the first thing I thought it was the little hors d'oeuvres. So second is uh, comment tu t'appelles? Très bien. Comment tu t'appelles? All right. La culture. Très bien, la culture. Une activité. Très bien. <laughs> okay, awesome. C is perfect. Okay, now we'll talk about the double consonant when you have two Cs. In mm -hmm. fact, it's really logical because it's the same rule but with uh, the double C. Can you see these uh, examples? And can you guess when you have to pronounce the double C and when you have to pronounce it X? I think I can kind of get them just because they look like some English words. So, l'Occident. Yeah. L'Occident, yes. Um, une occasion. Sounds like a little more Spanish than French, but I'm sticking <laughs> with it. Un saucé. Okay, almost. You have to sound, to make it sound like Occident. So, ce. un succès. Un succès. Très bien. Very good. Une occupation. Parfait. Une occupation, oui. Accepté. Très bien. Accepté, oui. So, is there a rule for this also? Yeah. If there is not an English equivalent I can think of? <laughs> In fact, it's really logical. You have this X when you have the first C, so which is pronounced K, and then the second one is pronounced S because it's before a soft uh, Voyal, okay? So, Occident, because the double C is in front of an I, and un succès is pronounced X, because it's in front of E, accent grave. Mm -hmm. so, All right, that makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. 
Uh, I'm just so used to English where it's just entirely random and you kind of have to memorize it all. So having actual rules is very helpful. Good. So same thing, but for the double uh, C with two K, but you have to pronounce it as if there were only one C. Une occasion and not une occasion, okay? Une occupation. And then the last one, can you try? Accompagner quelqu'un. Mm -hmm. Très bien. Accompagner. Well, quelqu'un is hard, okay? <laughs> we'll have yeah. another lesson about it. But, a whole other issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it's to uh, a double C, you don't pronounce it twice. So now let's talk about the little oddities. That's what we like when we learn a language. First, the C with the sedia. So okay. what is it? I think you might have seen it. It's the little tail under the C, okay? And it makes the C soft uh, before a hard voyal. Like to say that it's like adding coconut milk in a spicy meal, that it makes it soft. So when you have a C, C D, you have to pronounce it softly, okay? So again, obvious example would be un français. Yes. <laughs> un leçon. Une leçon. J'ai reçu. Mm. J'ai reçu, yes. J'ai reçu. Past time here with avoir and then uh, le participe passé. And it's a CCD and then a U. And it's pretty common um, in the past tense. Okay. Uh, now a little exercise with all that, uh, all this C. Okay. Can you read these sentences? I think I'm ready. All right. <laughs> First, parler français, c'est facile. C'est vrai, it's true. <laughs> Some say. Second one is, j'améliorer mon accent. Okay, almost. Accent is perfect. Accent, but j'améliore because it's right now. Right. Mm -hmm. J'améliore mon accent. Très bien. Uh, number three. J'ai reçu un certificat pour ce cours. Okay, the C are perfect again. <laughs> but if I want to be strict, you should say un certificat because it's the last consonant is mute. You don't pronounce it. One letter at a time. I'm working yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> so the fourth is nous commençons les leçons. Très bien. La leçon in French. So it's feminine. Nous commençons la leçon. And then, uh, ça est un roman de Stephen King. Oui, <laughs> très bien. Ça est un roman de Stephen King. Okay. okay. C'était facile. It was easy, right? Yes. Now that I know the rules, definitely will be a lot easier going forward. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of practice, okay? And good emotions. <laughs> Okay, now we have to try again with this sentence, the hard sentence we should start with and end with. Okay, so, I think I'm ready quick. to try it again. <laughs> um, so, dans ce sac de courses. Presque. Course. Mm -hmm. Il y a un citron. Un morceau de comté et du chocolat blanc délicieux. Délicieux. Ah, délicieux, <laughs> parfait. <laughs> Dans ce sac de course, only thing I would, I would like to say is course. You don't make uh, the, the S sound. Yeah. Can you read it okay. again? And it yes. could be perfect. I'll try to get it all together. Dans ce de course, Il y a un citron, un morceau de comté et du chocolat blanc délicieux. Mm -hmm. Parfait. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all of this help. I could not have done it without you. <laughs> oh, I was really happy to help you and you're a perfect student. <laughs> Thanks so much. Having trouble with pronunciation, hard to say vowels or tough articulation. Who we'll make
make you into a loquacious talker. Get on the phone with the pronunciation doctor.